Welcome to Tech Friday, the podcast about this week's hottest tech insights, hosted by a team of technology experts from Zfort Group. We share exclusive content on artificial intelligence, big data, AR, VR, and blockchain, and watch how these emerging technologies transform businesses and lives. We'll be sharing exclusive content received from closed tech communities, paid mail shots, other exclusive podcasts, and mass media. How to avoid AI failure with smart data collection. Any software is traditionally based on the programmer's designed algorithm and is aimed to perform a specific function. But in the case of artificial intelligence software, we face taking decisions that can be unpredictable. Ahead of global software standards at Philips, Pat Baird said, For these machine learning systems, the programmer doesn't tell the software how to solve the problem. In the particular case of AI programming, the result of development is the software being able to find patterns in the data. The reality is the programmer has no idea of the reason software made a certain decision. He just threw together an engine that calculates a ton of stuff. The guide of potential problems with AI software avoidance should start with something like, make sure to get good data before all else. As Pat Baird says about the traditional software, it's garbage in, garbage out. But what's going to happen if you have garbage in your data? And since you don't know how the software works, it's going to be a problem. So what are the common problems we face using AI apps? Pat gave a couple of real-life examples of how bad collected data can cause untrue results delivery. Example 1. Bad data to start with. It demonstrates the inability of wearable devices to recognize the mode of travel while the tracker showed over 20,000 steps after an off-road adventure in a Jeep. This was because of all the potholes and how much I was thrown around in the Jeep, Baird said. Example 2. Overfitting Here, we are talking about the excessive data sets that also lead to inaccuracies. From a huge mass of able data and values, the program selects patterns for analysis and training that are not targeted ones for us. One of the great examples is the image recognition software, the goal of which was to determine the difference between an Alaskan husky dog and a wolf. Baird commented it in the following way. The data performed well, but it was picking up on background cues rather than the ones the programmer intended. What actually happened was that most of the photos that people had of their dog were taken sometime during the summer or fall in their backyard, whereas the photos of the wolves were taken during the winter out in the wild. The software that looked great to detect the difference between the Alaskan Husky and the wolf was actually picking up on whether or not there was snow on the ground. Example 3. Underfitting Another issue is appearing as a result of the collected data shortage. Such a simple reason, right? As a rule, it ends up with making a decision based on noise, not on something real. The greatest people's mistake is to believe someone or something blindly, no matter if it is tech, doctor, or mass media news. So here we have people who can be susceptible to malicious software. The easiest way to explain using a common example is pop-ups on a PC that usually say that we are vulnerable to malware and give prompts to install the software. In most cases, the user clicks on it, unknowingly installing the virus. The reason is the same, complete trust in technology. Autonomy level, questions to think about. One more question appears on share responsibility we are ready to give the technology. What autonomy level should it have? Will it be enough just to give you the right driving direction? Or we need a self-driving car that actually does the driving for us? The good news is that most of the companies that worked with data collection have already found better ways to do it in terms of quality control. But still, can we remove errors in developing an excellent AI system? And how should we deal with it? So, how do we avoid failures in AI development? Here are the very basic principles. Number one, collect relevant and verify data. Number two, collect enough data. Number three, make sure the data is diverse. Number four, carefully consider if the data justifies the power we are giving to the AI. Fortunately, the development and implementation of technologies by leading companies provides an opportunity to learn from the mistakes of others and create a cleaner technology now.
If you have questions or there is a need for consultation regarding your business and own developments, Z Fort Group experts and tech leads are always ready to help. To get free AI consultation, please follow the link given in the description. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for listening. Be sure to subscribe now to stay on top of the world community news with Z Fort Group. Thanks for listening. Join us next week to discuss the latest tech stories, trends, and insights. Be sure to subscribe now to stay on top of the world's tech community news with Z Fort Group.